consistency. It's something I haven't really been good at lately. Now, I've already said this a billion times in my videos, but it's it's kind of sounding like a broken record now. I'm going to be more consistent. I think we'll just we'll just let fate judge that. I'll just post videos when I can. You know, you know how life is unfortunate things happening at unfortunate times. That's basically what's been happening lately. Nothing tragic, just annoying, I guess. Stopping me from a lot of free time to make content. So like in my last mundane photography adventures, I talked about that I had two things on that weekend. Um, yep, didn't go to them because problems. But anyway, we're back for a POV, a street photography POV. It's been two months, I think, something like that. And what better way to do street photography than at a Filipino event? If you don't know, I'm half Filipino. So I was like, oh, that seems like a perfect opportunity to go out and take photos. And I wanted to experiment with something, which is zone focusing. Now, if you're a noob and you've never heard that term, or you've heard that term get thrown around a few times, um, basically you manually focus at a certain distance, maybe like three meters away from you, whatever. And you leave it set at three meters. And when you take photos, you don't have to wait for the autofocus to focus it's already in focus if you get it in the right distance. I've tried this a few times, but not, not really with street photography. So I decided might as well give it a shot. Now I was kind of on and off zone focusing on this video. Um, there were times where I had a few hiccups and I'll explain that in the voiceover later with the photo, you'll see it. But it's quite a fun experiment. I got a few photos that I did like today. I still got to get back in the groove of street photography. A little bit, little bit shy, you know, got to work my way back into it. And uh, we're using the 35mm on the Canon R6 again, just the usual kit. And if you haven't seen my other POVs, um, basically how it works is I have a voiceover, a bit of music. I'll try and limit the voiceover a bit, a bit more music. Um, I don't think I need to explain everything. People always ask what settings I use. This time, the whole session, basically, I used f11, um, aperture priority. Uh, I think my minimum shutter speed's at 500, so I can't go lower than 500. Obviously the ISO, the auto ISO would take over and uh, balance that light out a bit. Oh, and the POV part, uh, I will show 10 photos unedited and then before and after. So unedited and edited, and I won't be showing the settings mainly because these will be my settings for like 90% of it. Maybe at the end I'll show some settings because we did take a few photos out of the festival. But um, other than that, yeah. Let's get to the POV. So guys, welcome back to another POV. Uh, obviously the first few shots are going to be absolutely horrendous. This is just me testing out my zone focusing. That was actually not in focus. Looks cool though. But um, yeah, as I said, the first few shots are going to be dog shit. So enjoy that. Just after the shot, I did notice a lifeguard sorting out the life vests, I believe, on the racks there. And we kind of played a little bit of cat and mouse, so trying to get them somewhere. I wanted to get them like peeking on the uh, opposite side there, so, and he does that, so. There we have it, my first favorite photo of the day.
was happening, I could see a guy over to my right there um, with a pretty incredible stance, so obviously I gotta shoot that, right? Shot didn't really work out. Um, it's just too cluttered in the background, as you can see. my third favorite shot of the day so this kid's playing hide and seek with his dad behind this monument thing now we're officially at the festival site um, just pre-warning the shot I'm about to take We'll disappear off the screen pretty quickly because I switched to another scene right after. You'll see it. Or, or not. Whatever. So here's where zone focusing came in handy. Look at this, ready, quickly flip it up, bang, got the shot. No problem. I did miss focus a little bit, but worked out pretty well anyway. next shot um, looked really good in black and white it isolated the subject which you will see in about one two oh, there's the subject so she's running across look at that cool shot Next shot coming up. I've seen these people holding this cardboard box. 
blocking their sun, their face from the sun. They're cheeky. Now this next one is where I encountered a problem. I actually bumped my ISO dial. So because I was shooting aperture priority, I had a minimum shutter speed, but because I bumped my ISO dial, it actually made the shutter speed like one over six, 160. Well, no, one over 60, I think. So yeah, that's where I failed. take a little break from the festival and go to the, the waterfront. Just missed the shot. I wish I lifted up a little bit more. atmosphere in this one god damn anyway we're taking another little break and we're deciding to go up to the jetty here This would have been a nicer composition if there wasn't so much in the background, but there's not much I can do about that. This one did end up being my favorite out of the bunch.
wish this lady was sitting in the light. This would have made the photo so much better, but I suppose she probably didn't want to get blinded. Same here. Here I miss the birds flying up, but just after here, I got this cute little moment. These two kids here, sharing is caring, guys. the fun part we're gonna dive into the dance floor or the dance ground i guess and uh this is where zen focusing really shines because i'm shooting a lot more closer i wish i had 28 mil but hey gotta try and use the tools at my disposal right now, i did multiple sweeps on this first run i only took two photos which i'll show at the end of the run sweet pay attention to the photos not all of them work out like this one didn't focus Focusing a little too close to me for this shot. Now we're at the backstage area. I took this shot. That's pretty nice. The lighting was pretty cool here. So this is the last shot of the POV, but now we'll have a bit of a slideshow of the photos I took after. And of course, there's bonus content after this. So stick around for that. Epic. Give my shitty audio but uh, this is further on we've moved on from the Filipino festival um, and now we're just shooting stuff so Mark's enjoying this oh this is kind of cool cool little angle I can't find the angle you can't find the angle anyway um so yeah we're gonna have some mundane photos in this too why not
So this is like a, a laneway that me and Mark always tend to come down when we're in Southport. Um, and I never really focused on mundane photography that much. Like stuff like this. There's so much, so much junk out here. That's fine, you know? And we're scoping this area out. This looks quite nice. It's a very He doesn't know what to do. Anyway, seeing this thing, I kind of like that frame. I shot a one of Mark already, as you can see. But well, I want to try one without Mark. <laughs> Stupid. So I hope you enjoyed that one. It's been a while, so it's, I'm glad to be back and I'm glad to be shooting. I ran out of street photos to post on Instagram as well. So that's another reason why I wanted to do this. And I've been itching just to do street photography. I've just been itching for it. A few things I learned, zone focusing is much harder than I thought. Well, I mean, it's, it's a simple concept, but to know your distances, there's a bit, bit, of, bit of thing to that. I think it's like, if you just do it more and more, you'll end up figuring out what distance is what. I think there's another term, it's called range focusing, but I think that's when you actively um, manually focus something. Um, and I'm definitely not that, I'm not good at manual focus at all. So um, if, if you are a bit of a pro, a bit of a purist, a bit of a know-it-all, and you can correct me on these terms. The comments, the comments. But yeah, things I've learned, um, as, as, as you've seen earlier in the voiceover, when I took that photo, I accidentally bumped my ISO dial and it switched it from auto to ISO 120 or 150 or something. And basically that's when Aperture Priority decided, well, we're going to mess around with your shutter speed. So that shot that I showed you for the example, um, that would have been a really good shot. Really pissed about that. Old mate had his balloon. That's just one of a series of shots that I took. Um, it was just for an example, but he had the balloon with the smiley face in front of him and it, I think he was at the right distance for it to be focused and everything. So that would have been a pretty sweet shot if I didn't bump my ISO. I did take a few photos before that, that were blurry, but they weren't really that good of moments, but I did catch it in time when I chimped out on my, on my camera and realized, why are these all blurry? And then I realized what I did. Uh, in terms of editing, I found this very difficult. I did use my presets, which I've plugged a few times, and if you do want some presets, uh, they are in the description, it's prints and presets link, click that, go buy them if you want to, don't have to. I have night presets, I have day presets, and I have a pack for two. But yeah, anyway, I did, I did use my presets, but I did have to tweak them quite a bit. Mostly because a lot of my presets don't account for grass, and grass plus golden-ish sunlight, I find is one of the most difficult things to edit because it just is unpleasing to the eye. But in the end, I kind of just left it how it is because I did look at other people's examples, uh, other photographers' examples of grass and especially film photographers. That's kind of how I like to emulate my photos a little bit. Um, and the grass is basically what I was, how I was editing them like. So I just don't like editing grass. That's, that's the thing. And I've never really shot much on a big field of grass before, so yeah, something to learn. I probably don't shoot there. Probably still won't shoot at areas like that a lot, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, normally I shoot in the concrete jungles, you know what I mean? Or the beach, where the sand. Sand's got a nice color that you can tweak. Anyway, what did I learn from zone focusing? Um, I need to practice more, and I think it'll be nice. For a few shots in there where I was in the crowd, I really, really wish I had a 28 millimeter. Um, that is next on the bucket list, 28 millimeter, the RF, the pancake lens, mostly because it's compact and plus I can get very close and I'll probably use zone focusing a lot more with a lens that wide. Anyway, um, apart from my presets, I do have my Instagram, my website. It's all down below in the description, of course. And um, I hope to see you next time. I'm a bit busy this week, so it's probably gonna be another two weeks before another POV comes out. But what does it matter? I have 200 and something subscribers, which thank you for subscribing. If you don't, you want to subscribe, do it. 
If you don't go out and take shit photos, you will never take any good photos. And that is fair dinkum. It's an Aussie term. See you later.